Aria in disguise as Father Willie Nelson kills the whole family. They're so heartsick for some paternal love, they don't even see it coming. A very cold open, indeed. The whites are on the march. Mira and Bran make it to Castle Black. I forgot that Sarcastic Ed is now Lord Commander. Jon Snow is running a meeting, typical, because Starks love meetings. Hashtag finally a leader with some top-level perspective. Hashtag feminism. Anybody else notice that the writing was more colloquial this episode? More modern, more on the nose? Like, here's John. like, you learned a lot from Cersei. And yeah, sure, maybe, but Sansa also survived Joffrey. She survived Ramsay. She evolved into her next level form of Dark Sansa. She survived horrors that would have broken you, Jon Snow. I love you. Just, you have the luxury of believing in justice. The Vikings come to King's Landing, Brother Euron sucking everyone's dick. First he sucks Jamie's, then he sucks Cersei's, says he'll come back with a great present, probably the head of Tyrion Lannister, or a dragon, or a Blue Apron gift card. Sam's getting the worst of combination med school and grad school, percussive smash cuts of splashy brown viscous liquids like we're in Blue Man Group. Sam talks to his advisor, who's like, you can research your own work when you're a professor, but right now you're a lowly TA, so sit tight. Don't worry, everything's fine. I'm old and I believe the status quo has a magical inertia. But Sam's like, yeah, but what if it's not going to be fine? He steals exactly the right book he needs, finds a map to Dragonstone, which is okay, but I kind of thought there would be a lot of reading and insight gleaned from metaphors and legend and a mystery. Nope. Littlefinger and Sansa, Brienne's like, is this man bothering you? Sansa says, I know what he wants. Well, she says it more like this, I know what he wants. But yeah, writers, we all know what he wants. Thanks. If you liked that, here comes unstoppable changeling ninja warrior Arya ready to learn a painfully on-the-nose lesson in moral ambiguity. Oh, they're Lannisters. But they're nice and cool. They have babies. They just want to sing and share dinner. People got upset at this scene because it had one of the Weasley twins in it, I guess. And if you liked that, if you like it right on the nose, here's the Hound with the Brotherhood of Doctors Without Borders returning to the peasant farmer that the Hound rolled in season four. The Hound overcomes his trigger and looks in the fire and sees exactly what's coming. Also, is everyone in this world a pyromancer? Could they have fire sight if they just let themselves look? Oh, and Jorah's around getting experimental leprosy treatments and still thinking he's got a shot with Danny, who's back at her childhood mansion with a dream team of the only mature people in this whole entire fantasy world. I've got a topo map, Cersei. So fuck you. Ba-dum, ba-da-dum, bum, ba-da-dum, 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 